Hey guys, Perry of Details Retail. Uh, today on the channel, we'll be working on the Honda FG 110 tiller. Um, I've had this tiller probably for, uh, I'm going to have to say, 18 years. I'm guessing. It's been a while. Uh, the problem has been that there's multiple things of problems on this thing. But the main one was the fuel line. Inside the fuel tank here, which I have fuel in it now, uh, the line rotted out on me. It, it literally disappeared. So now I got that plumbed up, uh, but the carburetor isn't working good. So now we're gonna change the carburetor. And I bought a carb kit from Amazon for this. Um, part number here. Of course, it's made in China. If you guys can make that out. So, what's in the kit? You always have tools ready, huh? Let's open it up for the first time. There should be a new sponge for the air filter. Uh, let's go like that. Yep, which is awesome. Uh, mine is kind of falling apart, as you can see. As you guys see that, it's falling apart. All right. Next, new carburetor. It's not back, which is good. The other one, my other one isn't doing that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So you got an o ring. Should get you into view, huh? Okay. Got a new fuel line. Um, there's three of them. That's not correct. Why is there three of them? Oh, it's supposed to be two. <laughs> uh, okay. So then we got new fuel filter, which is good because the other one I have is all yuck. Comes with a second prime ball, which is awesome, and a gasket. All right. Oh, also there's a spark plug. So, all right, let's, uh, first thing I need to do is, uh, take the gas tank off. Since I have this, I think I'm going to take, because I need two, not three. That's sad. I was hoping that this would be the same, and it's not the same. Um... I'm sure it'd fit in there. Worst case scenario. But I'll look, I like to run it. Oh, is this different? Oh, sure enough. The size on here is different, isn't it? It should be a little bigger. That one's just a lot bigger. Oh, we'll see if we can make it work. Um, that's not good. All right, let's let me get some more tools here and start taking it apart and see what we can do with this. This is not totally correct. Okay, this is an eight millimeter.
this is disassembled a little bit because I was working on it before. So, yeah, we'll have to. Okay. So here's the difference of this new one. And the old one. See, that one's way bigger inlet. looks okay so let's get the um, throttle cable off up here the throttle cable which does this down there and it shouldn't be too tight I should probably be able to get it with this. So I've had it on and off a couple of times now. Okay, I'm over here. I'm going to take this off. Fuel line. Fuel line. Now this one was so hard to get on. It's probably going to be a pain to get off. Because I really struggled to get this one on. That's how tough that was. Okay, so now this will just slip off here. It's just sitting on the studs. this but I should be able to get at this a little easier just loosen it up okay we gotta slide that out all right so there's the old one gasket ain't that bad. I think I'm going to try to reuse that. I'm going to pull this tank apart. It comes off really easy. Just need a Allen wrench and we'll get it off. Okay, it's a four millimeter. I got to take this off to get at the gas tank. Put the screw 
looks like. It's gonna be harder with the handle here. I'm gonna loosen them up first. bad spot <sighs> yeah I'm gonna have to see if I can find my t-handle because I just can't get the grip I need with this Let's look for my four millimeter t-handle okay I found it so it should get me clear of that handle. See this little handle here causes a problem. Strip that one out a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to put that one on the back. That one's easy to get out. Now remember, this is a, a four stroke. There's no uh, two stroke oil added to this so you just fill it with gas which is one of the things I really liked about this it's made in Thailand the recoil comes off just that easy and so does the gas tank just like that you slip it out so now I want to get in this thing I got gas in it, so I have to put pour this into something. So let me do that, and I'll be right back on this. Now, guys. Um, okay. You try to pry that that rubber out, and it's. This thing's getting to its bitter end. So I'm going to just try to see if I can get it with my long uh, um, needle nose here. What the what I want. See if I can get it this way. So I want to replace this end on this. If I can't get it that way, then we'll pull the whole thing out. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to pull the whole damn thing out. Not that I want to, but okay. She's tight in there. She's old too, that's that's a problem. Besides being tight, she's old. Oh. OK, 
Okay. I did a little damage to it. Trying to get it off. That's not good, but hopefully we can seal it. Alright, so you can only do one at a time when you do this. So you gotta sneak one out and get the other one out. struggle and struggle yeah I'm up here watching me do this and we'll go with to get the little one first let's try that let's And the other one will come out. Do the little one first. I'm going after this one here. Because right. this one I know is not the greatest. And I got a new one. So we're putting that one on. Alright, so here we go. Hopefully it'll just slip on. chew up this thing any more than what this is already done but oh well it's what we needed to do right Let's see about getting this uh, hose clamp on this thing it's kind of kind of tricky Patience is what you need with this thing. Patience. Got it on there. It's clamped on. Okay. Now, should we do this one too? I don't know what this one does. This play is capped. I think we're just going to leave that one alone. Can't believe uh, how chewed up this is getting. Okay, so we're gonna put the big one in first, and the small one. another pain in the rectum get this in there
just gotta work it in guys it's just really sucky it all Really tight fit. Okay, I got it. Be some chunks floating of rubber in there. That's the reason why I was hoping this would work. Forgot to turn the camera back on, but I got it all back together. Okay, guys, see how easy it was? That is running now. Uh, the carburetor kit, I think, was like $16. So I got everything I needed in there. Spark plug, which I didn't need. Got it together. It's running, it's running excellent. So, like the video, comment if you have any ideas on how to make it better or what I did wrong or whatever you feel. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.